Okay, well I removed my brackets. I decided to change it out because I didn't um, really like the way it was rotating. So um, if you, I had two L brackets coming up on both sides, but disconnected to the L brackets, we're just going to pull this way and rotate the whole engine around this stud right here. So what I did was, since I already started to disassemble my bike to work on my boat, I stole this from my bike as well. Basically, how it's going to work is, this is going to go up in here, like so, and the bicycle chain is going to wrap around this sprocket to um, rotate the engine. So this sprocket right here, I was going to tack it on, but I wanted to make it to where I could remove it if I have to, because I need to still have access to these bolts. In a way, I have these small bolts right here, which I'm going to weld to this plate. And it's going to come up through these holes right here. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four holes. With these little bolts going to come through. This video is nothing major. I just don't want to keep y'all waiting too long. So uh, that's just only adjustment that I made. So once I get this on, this chain is going to come around. And then I'm going to connect this to this chain somehow. Which is going to pull with the joystick. And hopefully rotate this engine well this uh playback here a little bit better because i'm gonna have more clearance not more clearance but more leverage because at first these are well i'm getting about an inch more on each side so that should be should help it turn easier since i have a big a bigger um diameter should make it turn a little bit easier but um that's about it for right now and uh, whenever I upload something else, you'll be sure to know. Thanks for watching.